lovely people welcome to yet another episode on talk with ama your holistic and wellness channel did you know that hypertension is a silent killer it can lead to other cardiovascular diseases like stroke uh, heart failure and even chronic kidney disease there is therefore the need for an accurate and reliable method of blood pressure measurement okay. so in this video we are going to look at some errors that can lead to false measurements when it comes to our blood pressure. So if you want to learn more about this, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. So to make things easier and very simple to understand, let's group these errors into four main groups. We have the patient related, we have the device related, we have the method related and the observer related kind of errors. Your patients who are taking coffee or alcohol right before their BP readings can have false, you know, increase in their BP measurement. So please take note. If you know that you're taking uh, coffee or you're taking some alcohol, especially in SS, then please do not go and check your blood pressure. Again, patients who have bladder distension or holding urine for a long period of time, please, when you're going to check your BP, Make sure that your, your bladder is not full. Go and pee if you need to use the washroom. And let whoever is checking your BP for you and use the washroom. Otherwise, you're going to get holes or errors in your blood pressure. Mm. Another thing that I really want to uh, put across is that cold exposures can cause your blood pressure readings to go up. Okay. This is because when you're feeling cold, your blood vessels they narrow temporarily. Okay. So it's, it's not advisable to be checking your BP right under the AC. Or if you're feeling really cold, then you may have to alert whoever is checking your BP. Something related to patient inaccuracy or errors is a white coat hypertension or effect. There are some people that automatically their BP reading shoots up when they are checking in a clinic setting or uh, having a clinician check on them, their BP will just shoot up because of anxiety and maybe bad memories of the hospital or other things. If you are such a person, it is better to get the device and be checking at home or in an area where you feel you, are, you don't have anxieties. So let's move to the device-related errors. Definitely, we know that when it comes to BP, you can either use the manual or automatic. When it comes to machines, there could be some errors. So we should also uh, take notes of these errors and calibrations that has to be done. It's not every device that you have to go and purchase. Make sure that whatever BP device you're going to buy is, is fully calibrated, is recommended, and it has correct reviews. Now, let's move to the method-related errors or the procedure-related errors. I would definitely say that this is one of the areas where most of the errors come from. First thing is insufficient rest period. There are lots of people that they're in a hurry. Before they, they, they even check their PP, they want to sit down and you know come and check for them because they have to go and do something. You know you're in a hurry. Please don't come to the facility to check your PP because you need to sit down for some time, you know, a period of uh, five to like 10 minutes so that you can calm down. Then we we'll check your PP for you. There was also some research that was done and it was realized that when you are checking your BP, your arm shouldn't be below your heart when you're checking your BP. It should be at the same level. So if you are checking uh, your BP at a facility and realize that your your arms are positioned wrongly, then definitely you're, you're going to get a, a false uh, raised BP measurement. When you're checking your BP, do not cross your legs. But please, when you are checking your BP, make sure that your feet are laid flat on the floor. Your arms are same level with your heart, not lower or above your heart. Then you sit relaxed in the chair that you are given to check your BP. Yes, another major thing that I can't forget to mention is incorrect cup size. You don't need a too tight cup size that you can't put one finger inside. And we don't also want a very loose cup size that is all wiggly and moving up and down on your arm. You need one that fits correctly, but then you can also fit a finger inside. If you're buying your D uh, BP device, make sure that you don't go and opt for a smaller cup size because the prices are cheap. Do get one that fits correctly, 
so that you get correct readings in order to help your doctor to fully diagnose if there's hypertension or even when you're managing hypertension it will be easier for us to track and know if the medications you're on or your lifestyle changes is actually having a positive effect on your blood pressure needs. so please do the right thing and it would benefit you it will benefit whoever is managing you and everyone will be happy Yes, then please, when you are checking your PP, that's not the time for you to be making calls. That's not the time for you to be talking to whoever is, is checking your BP for you. Do not talk whilst your BP is being measured. Again, research has been done and we realized that people that talk during the procedure have a slight increase in their BP readings. So please, if you want to converse with whoever is checking your BP for you, or you want to talk to someone, you can do that after you know, your BP has been measured. So the last errors or group of errors that I want to talk about is the observer related one. This one is mostly comes about when the person is using manual BP measuring device. So if the person is having hearing deficits or problems with hearing, then definitely we are going to get some small errors. So with this one, if you are using a manual BP device at your, your clinical setting, then it's appropriate to have multiple people check up on an individual in order to clear up errors that can come from one person. I believe we've all learned something new today and if you are still watching and you haven't checked your BP or you have no idea whether you fall within the normal blood pressure reading or you have a pre-hypertensive reading or you are even hypertensive, this is the time to go to the pharmacy or clinic to check your blood pressure. Stay safe and always remember that a healthy mind and body is always a healthy mind. Bye!